Hi friends, in our previous video I had explained you the advantages of Alliness and I promised you that we will make a video about the drawbacks of Alliness. Today I will explain you what are the drawbacks associated with Alliness. The first and most important drawback of Alliness is Alliness depend heavily on patient cooperation that means if the patient does not cooperate with the treatment, Alliness cannot deliver the result. Alliness must be worn at least 20 to 22 hours per day by the patient to get good results. But it is seen, it is reported in many studies that most of the patients wear the aligner for 20 hours in the initial days and as the treatment progresses, the duration of wear reduces to 10 hours to 12 hours. So, if the patient does not wear the aligner continuously and if the patient does not follow orthodontist instructions, then aligners cannot give good results. But whereas in regular braces, the treatment is not dependent on patient cooperation. Once the braces are placed, once the wire is placed in the braces, once the wire is activated by the orthodontist, till the patient comes back to the orthodontist, the wire keeps exerting its force and the braces or the appliance keeps exerting its influence or keeps moving the teeth. That means it does not matter what the patient is wearing, what, what the patient is eating or what the patient is doing or whether the patient is interested in treatment or not. The treatment goes on and the treatment continues. But whereas in aligners, for any reason, if the patient does not wear the aligners, then, then there is no treatment. So this is the first and most important drawback of aligners. The second important drawback of aligners is the duration of treatment. It has been proven and it has been shown in various studies that for a given case, for a given type of malocclusion or a given type of problem, aligners take almost double the time of braces. For example, for a, for a case which needs removal of four teeth to retract or push back the front teeth, if braces take around one, uh, if braces take around one and a half year, aligners take nearly two and a half to three years. So, duration taken for the treatment is almost double with aligners. That is another important drawback. And this duration has been the most important factor in uh, reducing the patient interest in the treatment. And uh, it is the duration of treatment which affects the patient's cooperation. As the duration goes on increasing, patients lose interest on the treatment and they stop wearing the aligners. And as they reduce the duration of uh, aligners, the, du the duration of the treatment goes on increasing. Now the, th the third important drawback with aligners is lack of control. That means the orthodontist does not have control over the tooth movement. What does it mean? For example, think of, let us think of a patient who has formerly placed teeth and the orthodontist has removed four teeth and started moving the front teeth back. Now if, it is, if the patient is being treated with braces and if the orthodontist observes that instead of the front teeth moving back, if the back teeth are moving front, then the orthodontist can change the wire, then the orthodontist can place some bends in the wire or the orthodontist can add some extra teeth into the treatment or the orthodontist can place some temporary anchorage devices or mini implants and stop the back teeth from moving front and pull the front, push the front teeth back. But whereas in aligners, during the treatment, if the orthodontist observes that the treatment is not progressing according to the plan, then, then there is not much which orthodontist can do. What orthodontist can do at the maximum is he can stop the treatment, call for an additional scan, scan the patient's, patient's teeth again and order for new sets of aligners. But this is going to increase the duration of the treatment and as well as cost of the treatment. So this is, according to me, this is the most important drawback with aligners. The orthodontist does not have control over tooth movement. Now the fourth drawback with aligners is they cannot be used or they are not very effective in complicated cases. 
That means if the patient has, uh, it's been shown that if a patient has impacted teeth, that means if some teeth are stuck in the bone, then alignments, not, alignments are not good to treat such patients. If patient has an open bite or very severe deep bite, aligners don't give good result because aligners control over tooth movement, tooth movement in vertical direction is very minimum. If a patient has severely rotated teeth or patient has cross bite involving more than two or three teeth, then aligners don't give good results compared to braces. If patient has problem not only in teeth but also in bones, that means if the patient has a skeletal problem, then aligners don't give good results compared to braces. That means so, if a patient is having a complicated, if the patient's problem is complicated or, or if the patient's problem is in all the three dimensions of space, then aligners do not give good results compared to braces. So these are the four most, these are the four important drawbacks of aligners. I hope you like this video. If you have liked this video, please share this video, like this video and subscribe our channel. Thank you very much.